Now that all data and content has been migrated to Umbraco 8, we also need to move some of the files from our Umbraco 7 project into our Umbraco 8 project. My name is Sophie, and in this video, I'll make sure you know which files should simply be moved and which files you need to carefully merge. Let's dive in. Like we did in the previous video, we'll have our two folders here next to each other, the Umbraco 7 project to the left and the Umbraco 8 project to the right. Great, we'll start by moving the views folder. So I'll open that over here. And then I'll copy all my views files from here and simply paste them into the view folder over here. We also need to take files from these folders. Take these into the macro partials over here. Make sure you do not overwrite any of the existing default view files in the forms, grid and macro partials view folder. If you've made any custom changes to any of these default files, you can of course overwrite them for now. In step three, you'll need to go through each of your template files and update them from Braco 8, but more on that in step three. So we've copied over our template files. We also need to copy over the media folder. So I'll grab that one and throw it in here. There we go. And we also need our CSS files and any JavaScript files as well. Great. If you have any further custom files and folders from in your Umbraco 7 site that isn't in the config or bin folders, make sure to copy those over as well. If you've been using Umbraco forms on your Umbraco 7 project, you also need to copy over any files related to those. So you can find them in app data on Braco forms here. And we'll copy that one into app data on Umbraco 8. There we go. The final thing to do before running the Umbraco 8 project with the new files is to carefully merge your configuration files. This is to ensure you do not overwrite any default configuration from Umbraco 8, but still keep any custom configuration you've been using on your Umbraco 7 site. This could be rewrites or SMTP settings, for example. For this, we recommend using a merging tool like diffmerge or winmerge. I've put links to the tools in the description of this video. Great, now all necessary files have been migrated to the Umbraco 8 project. Let's take a quick look at what we did here. We've copied over our custom files from the views folder. We've copied over the media folder, our style sheets and our JavaScript files. We also copied over any custom files and folders that were not in the bin or config folder. Then we copied over Umbraco forms from app data. And finally, you needed to make sure that all your config files were merged carefully. Now, as this is an Umbraco Cloud project, we will need to generate UDA files for all the schema. For this, we will need to run the Umbraco 8 project through IIS. Don't worry about any errors you might see on the front end. We'll cover this in step three. Now, with this site running, we need to open command prompt from the data folder in our Umbraco 8 site. So I'll go into data here, type cmd, there we go. And in here, we need to run the command echo deploy export. This will now run through all the schema in the database and generate UDA files for everything. You can follow along in the data folder over here. Once we have a deploy complete marker in the data folder, the export has run. Now, to ensure all the correct files have been generated, we will go ahead and run echo deploy again from command line. And as you can see over here, it's running. This will compare the database and our UDA files and make sure everything is aligned. Again, once we have a deploy complete marker in the data folder, we're all set. And there we are. You can also always verify if your UDA files have been generated by going into the revision folder. As you can see, it looks like I have all my UDA files ready. We are now ready for the next step in the migration. And that's right, in step three, you're up because now it's time to update all your custom code and implementation and get the front end up to speed. See you there.